Good morning and welcome to Daily Encounter. Each week we are going to look at a book as well as the Bible that has shaped me as a leader, as a disciple of Jesus, and perhaps will give an insight into the direction I believe God is taking us at Christian Life Church. This week the book we are going to look at is called Contagious Disciple Making by a father and son team, David and Paul Watson. I'd like to start by asking a question. What is a disciple? If you could sum it up in one word, what would you choose? Let me suggest obedience. A true disciple is someone that is obedient to Jesus. A disciple lives to please Jesus regardless of the personal sacrifice and cost. Therefore, a disciple maker is one who helps another to live a life that obeys Jesus. But why? Why would you and I obey Jesus? Jesus doesn't force us to obey, it is only a request. A disciple's obedience is not motivated by a fear of punishment, but love for Jesus, the author of life. Obedience to Jesus is our worship. We may not be able to sing in church, but we can still worship. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commands. Frustrated by the disobedience of Saul, the first king of Israel, Samuel the prophet declares, does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in the obedience to his voice? Behold, Obedience is better than sacrifice, and attentiveness is better than the fat of rams. I was really challenged when I read the following in Contagious Disciple Making. In our efforts to swell the ranks of the church, to be inclusive, to be politically correct, to impress others, we've thrown away one of the most important foundational teachings of the Bible obedience. Is that true? It certainly challenged me as a leader and as a disciple of Jesus. At the beginning of a new day, let's determine once again to be obedient. Let's be worshippers. Let's be attentive and obey his voice today. Let's pray. Jesus, Thank you for being the author and giver of life. Thank you for your example of obedience, even to death on a cross. Today, I choose again to worship, to obey you. Not because I have to, but because I truly want to. Forgive me for when I have chosen my way instead of following your way. Help me today to be attentive to your voice and have the courage to obey. I ask this in the name of Jesus. For a couple of moments, let's sing a prayer to music. Let's worship Jesus and align ourselves again with his plans and his purposes for our lives today and for the rest of the week. As we wait, seek your face, come and make your throne upon our prayer. Here in this place, have your way. The moment that we see you, we are changed. Show us your glory. Show your glory in wonder and surrender we fall down show us your glory show us your glory let every burning heart be holy ground Jesus 
Jesus, you change everything. Lives healed, hope found here now. Jesus, you change everything. Chains fall. Jesus, you change everything. 